Hello, welcome to Code Snippet. So in this video, we are going to see comparable and comparator interfaces and we will see what is the difference between them and what exactly is the use case of comparable and comparator. So we will try to implement both of them by using an example and try to understand them. So let's get started. Sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So here I have a person class and I have two parameters name and age right and here in the main method I am creating few objects of person and adding it to a list of person and just trying to print it. If you run this we will just get the list of these persons printed on the console right no problem. So let's say we want to sort these elements and let's try to use comparable first right. So what we need to do here is we will go to person and we will say implements comparable and that will ask us to override one method which is compare to right now we have compare to method now we need to give some implementation so on which field of this person you want to compare that is the implementation we want to give here so let's say we want to compare on age so what we can do we can do integer dot compare remember compare is a method of integer so we will just pass both the integers and it will compare based on this so this is a method which we get inside comparable interface so if we go inside comparable and check so you will get one method compare to right so that's what we are implementing here right and we have provided a custom implementation here that we want to sort on age right now let's say uh, here i say collection dot sort collections dot sort right sort people right so if you go inside sort method it will in turn use that comparable only so it will sort based on that comparable right now let's run this code and see what is happening Let's see the output here. Now, as you can see, output is sorted based on ages, right? Now, let's say I want to sort based on name. So, in order to do that with comparable, what I need to do is I need to change this implementation. Now, we are going to change this this dot name, but compare to another name. So, custom other implementation I have provided to compare strings. Okay. Now, if I run this code, so now it is sorting based on name as we have provided this implementation. On only one field of the entity, you can sort the elements, right? So that is our behavior here. So this comparable interface you can use when you want to force or uh, by default you want to use only one entity. So whenever someone, let's say, try to sort person and you want them to be sorted on age only, then you go with comparable interface because you will be able to provide only one implementation of compare to, right? And based on only one field, you can sort it, right? That is the use of comparable interface and that's how you can use it, right? Now let's say you want to sort on any variable which is present inside the entity. In that case, comparator will come into picture. So let's see the example of that now. So here I have another class and I'm just using same person class that we just saw. And here also I'm just creating few objects of person and just putting it into a list, right? Nothing fancy over here. Now, now the main thing comes into picture. So here, so I have people dot sort and now I am creating new comparator of person and this will give us compare method. Okay. So in comparator we have compare method. Go inside and check. We should have compare method there. So what we will do? We will override this compare method and for person one, person two, what we can do? Person one dot get name compare to person two dot get name. Right. So we'll just compare it. And you can also replace this with lambda expression. So here I have provided another uh, implementation where I use lambda expression. So we'll just pass p1, p2 and p1 dot get name compared to p2 dot get name, right? So this is a condition on which we want to sort. So after this sort as well, if we print it, we'll get the same. Uh, so this is just by using lambda. Now, if we run this code, let's say what happens. So now both of them are sorted by name only, right? Now there is one more thing to highlight here. So this lambda expression instead of this, you can use the comparator dot comparing method as well. If I do this so comparator dot comparing and pass get name over here, then it will compare by using name field. So if you go inside comparing, so let's go inside and see what is happening. So what it is doing in turn, it is doing same thing which we were doing there. So it will just for C1, C2, it will do first parameter compared to second parameter, right? So same thing it is doing. It's just a method which will return a comparator for us. But this is an easy implementation, so we can make use of this. Now let's rerun this and let's see if that is working. So this is working fine, right? Still sorting on name only. Now let's say I want to sort it on age. So what I will do, I'll just say get age, nothing else. As simple as that. Now if I run this code, then we will get 
this list sorted basis on age because we are passing the age implementation here right as you can see here we are passing age so as simple as that so that's how you can make use of comparator right now let's say you want to sort it in reverse order let's say so you have inbuilt method just say reversed here and let's rerun this code there we go it is sorted in reversed order so as simple as that so this is how you can make use of comparator and comparable so when to use comparable and when to use comparator that might be the question which is coming to your mind when you want to restrict the behavior that you want to sort on only one field of your entity then you go with comparable however when you want to sort on any element of your entity then you go with comparator right? also this is very common question which is generally asked in java interviews so if this question is asked to you just highlight these points and you can also provide this kind of implementation there as well so we have already saw the implementation but let's go through some theory points over here so that it will be easy to answer in the interview so comparable is defined in java.lang package and uh, comparator is defined in java.util package right? so comparable is used to define natural ordering however that is not true for comparator it is used to define custom ordering right and comparable class itself implement comparable and it overrides compare to as we saw here class was implementing so here person class was implementing comparable and it was overriding compare to method right we can make use of lambda expressions we can use of directly use comparator or compare method or directly use comparator dot comparing as well right and here we we will have only one sorting criteria that will be the implementation of your compare to method and here we can have multiple sorting criteria based on any field that you want right now summary use comparable when you want to define natural ordering of objects and the order is typically default way of sort them meaning that only one variable you want to sort which will be a default method person only sort by age don't sort by name right because that's what i want i don't want name based sorting i just want age based sorting go with comparable when you need to define multiple ways to sort objects and when you cannot modify the class implementation of comparable right so when there is a limitation of comparable that you cannot sort for multiple fields then go with comparator interface and sort on whatever field you want so that's it for this video thank you for watching i hope this was helpful so if you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next video